Folks, this is the House of Time. I'm your host, G-Time. And I'm Nick of Time. And we're just a father and son team here trying to uh, check out as much comedy as we can. Now that the world's opening back up, we want to get on stage and do some stuff for ourselves. We still try to get a routine together. If anybody uh, know anyone that uh, writes for a comedian duo here, do so for us. We'll gladly pay you. <clears throat> you go ahead and hit me up. Leave it in the comments below. And let me know how I can reach out to you. But today we have George Carlin talking about something from way back when, but still relevant today. And what is that? Racism. Racism. Let's see what George Carlin got to say. Now I probably got some other group pissed off at me because I said fruit. There's a different group to get pissed off at you in this country for everything you're not supposed to say. Can't say fruit, can't say faggot, can't say queer, can't say Nancy boy, can't say pansy. Can't say nigger, boogie, jig, jigaboo, skinhead, jungle bunny, mooly, moolignon, or schwatzer. Can't say yid, heeb, zeeb, kite, maki. Which ones you don't know about? The mo not, Pretty much, oh. Yid, heeb, zeeb, kite, maki, uh, dago, guinea, wop, Porn. ginzo, Greaser, Greaseball, Spick, Beaner, Oye, Tiger, PR, Mick, Donkey, Turkey, Limey, Frog, Squarehead, Kraut, Jerry, Hun, Chink, Jack, Nip, Slope, Slopehead, <laughs> Zip, Zipperhead, Gook. There is absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of words here, remember. Yeah. And more than half of those, we can't say today, and we get in trouble. There is absolutely nothing wrong with any of those words in and of themselves. They're only words. It's the context that counts. It's the user. It's the intention behind the words that makes them good or bad. The words are completely neutral. The words are innocent. I get tired of people talking about bad words and bad language. Bullshit. It's the context that makes them good or bad. The context that makes them good or bad. For instance, you take the word nigger. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the word nigger in and of itself. Why you gotta choose that one first? <laughs> All of the words you could have chose, he chose that one first. <laughs> they still say it today, too. <laughs> It's the racist asshole who's using it that you ought to be concerned about. We don't care when Richard Pryor or Eddie Murphy say it. Why? Because we know they're not racist. They're niggers. <laughs> Contact. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. We don't mind their context because we know they're black. <laughs> hey, I know I'm whitey, the blue eyed devil, patio fade, gray boy, honky motherfucker myself. Don't bother my ass. They're only words. You can't be afraid of words that speak the truth. Even if it's an unpleasant truth, like the fact that there's a bigot and a racist in every living room on every street corner in this country. I don't like words that hide the truth. I don't like words that conceal reality. I don't like euphemisms or euphemistic language. And American English is loaded with euphemisms because Americans have a lot of trouble dealing with reality. Americans have trouble facing the truth. So they invent the kind of a soft language to protect themselves from it. And it gets worse with every generation. For some reason, it just keeps getting worse. I'll... I think I was looking forward to the rest of that. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have to say that that was funny though, man. Uh, that that's a, a bit within a bit. He goes into religion and everything. We talked about that. I uh, heard that one, but yeah, he that George Collins hilarious, man. Oh, that was funny. All humor, man. It's all comedy. You gotta enjoy life, man. Sometimes don't take it too serious. Pay your bills. Pay your taxes. Take care of your family enjoy life that's what it's all about if you're not doing one of those three things you're gonna have a miserable life if you ain't paying your taxes oh the IRS coming to get you if you ain't take care of your family oh your family gonna come get you too because <laughs> they ain't gonna have nothing to do with you and it's a lonely life when you ain't got no family and, and what's the other thing I said 
pay your bills. bills. Yeah. If you don't pay your bills, then the bill collector going to come and get you. And that's no fun either. Because um, if you get a $5,000 credit card, after you max out that 5000 on pay it, your fun is over. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't pay it in time, they're going to hit that credit. So all, it all ties in. Anyways, man, what you think of that set, man? That's, that's pretty racism. good. I feel the same because like words don't mean anything so like if I hear a white person say nigga I really don't care but when they come at me with some like ignorant stuff that's when I'm like okay you need to calm down but mm -hmm. yeah I'm the same way I suppose <clears throat> this all just funny to me if it's, even if they call me that if it's funny I'm gonna laugh first yeah funny's funny <laughs> <laughs> And then after I laugh, then we have to reevaluate what just happened. You see how like a voice and he come at you saying that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But we ain't going to hold y'all much longer, man. But racism is alive and kicking in 2021. So, anyways, that was George Carlin, Racism. This is G Time. And I'm Nick of Time. And together we are the House of Time. And until next time, we are out.